Vision, often called eyesight, is a sense that allows us to capture visible light and interpret it to perceive images. To understand vision, let's review what light is. Light is an electromagnetic ray. It travels in a straight line and can be deflected by a lens. For vision to work, the light reflected from one object must enter the eye. Once inside the eye, the light's rays must be transformed into nerve impulses to be processed by the brain. When light enters the eye, it passes through several transparent structures and other organs. The cornea is the first transparent membrane penetrated by the light rays. The curved shape of the cornea enables it to converge the light rays. The rays then pass through the aqueous humor and the pupil, which is the hole at the center of the iris. The light rays then pass through the transparent domed lens. The lens deflects the rays and converges them on the retina, passing through the vitreous humor. The retina is a membrane that covers the back of the eye. It contains millions of cells called photoreceptors that capture light and transform it into nerve impulses. These photoreceptors are called cones and rods. The cones are mainly concentrated in an area called the yellow spot. They enable color vision. The rods, on the other hand, capture the contrast of images, which is especially helpful in poorly lit spaces. The rods are mainly found around the edge of the yellow spot. At the point where the retina is attached to the optic nerve, there are no photoreceptors, which means that no image will be produced if rays converge there. This is why this area is called the blind spot. When an eye care professional looks at the back of a patient's eye, they can see the blind spot. Once the retina has transformed the light rays into nerve impulses, these impulses are transmitted to the visual region of the brain by the optic nerve. The nervous system interprets the information and creates an image. For the image perceived by the brain to be in focus, the light rays must converge at the right place on the retina. To achieve this, the lens can bulge or flatten to direct the rays to the desired location. This is called lens accommodation. Our eyes are made up of multiple complex structures that work together to allow us to see.